I believe we are created for greatness, not mediocrity. That we are to live our lives accordingly, striving to be agents of change as we attempt to leave this world a better place than we found. Hey YouTubers, this is Manny the Man Lopez and this is a brand new edition of PLS Tips with Manny where each week I give you guys new tips and strategies on branding yourself, positioning yourself as experts in your industry and just really helping you generate more leads, sales and referrals in your business. So last week I was talk or talking, I was watching uh, Shark Tank, right? And then right after that it was a 2020 special uh, with Kevin O'Leary, Kevin O'Leary from Shark Tank and he was talking about the secrets of the sale. And I was watching and thinking, you know, I'm going to see if I can get some nice sales tips and things like that. And I learned some great things. But I wanted to give you guys kind of my side of the secrets of the sale. You know, I've been able to sell a lot throughout my uh, career so far. I'm only 28 and I've sold millions of dollars worth of business over the phone, in person, um, networking, expos, online. I mean... You name it, I've, I've pretty much tried it except doing you know, TV and radio. I've done a little dabble in that, but for me, it's really been focusing on the lead generation tactics that are very cost effective uh, to business professionals, and that's what I really teach on. So I'm going to give you guys the secrets of the sale. So whether it is that you're talking with someone over the phone, you're in person doing direct sales, maybe you're going door to door selling a product or service, there's always secrets of the sale that are really going to help you giving that structured way of bringing on that new client. Now, first of all, you got to understand it's a numbers game. You talk to a certain amount of people about your product or service, you're going to have a certain amount of people interested. Now, the way that you position yourself, the way you talk about your product, the knowledge that you have about your product, and the way that you can communicate to your audience in front of you is going to determine how many out of that 100 people or so that you talk to will be interested in your business. So first thing you always have to understand that it is a numbers game. You talk to 100 people, X amount of people will be interested, X amount of people are going to be clients of yours from that, and X amount of people will start referring you business. Um, but you have to understand first things first is get excited about your product or service. When people talk to me over the phone or in person, they're always commenting on the excitement level I have about what I do. And that really translates into making sure they're excited. For example, I had um, a few years back, I remember this conversation very clearly. I came in the office and I was very, very excited that day. I just knew I was going to have a great day. And I just told myself, whoever I get on the phone today, I'm going to, I'm selling them. I'm selling them no matter what. And I had such an excitement level. I was standing up while I was pitching. I was, you know, going over this is phone sales, by the way. I was standing up while I was pitching. I was going over the product and service and talking about how great it was and how it's going to really help what they're doing and really give them the excitement level that shows that I was really passionate about what I had to offer that day. The guy ended up signing up and at the end of the conversation, he's like, wait, Manny, what did I sign up for? I, I don't know. I just said yes because I just saw how excited you were about what we're doing, what it is that I, that I actually got today. So you, you'll be amazed at how many people will respond to you just because of the way that you carry yourself. You carry yourself in a certain way that really gets them to say, I've got to be what um, that guy is on. I got to be what he, I got to do what he's doing. What is it that gets him so happy and excited and passionate about what he's offering? So that's really a very key factor in the secrets of success and the secrets of the sale is to make sure you are one passionate about what you're doing. You understand that it's a numbers game that you just have to keep being consistent. Another thing I was hearing is, why do you think that the casino always wins? You know, you think about that, you know, that saying the house always wins. Why is that? Well, the house plays every hand. You know, think about blackjack. Okay, the house plays every single hand, regardless of it, and it's consistent. Whatever it lands on this number, it stays. When it lands on this number, it hits. It's consistent, and it will always win because a certain amount of those numbers out of 100, they're going to win so many of them. It's just because of the numbers, and if you stay consistent at what you're doing, you're going to hit your goal eventually. Don't let the downs or you know the small negatives factor into what you're doing and let it be a determining factor of you changing up your, your pitch or something. If you've seen it work before, it will work again. And you just have to be consistent. You know, again, so you understand it's a numbers game. You have passion and excitement and product that you're offering or the service that you're offering. And you stay consistent 
and what it is that you're doing. Another factor in the secrets of success and the secrets of the sale is to have a scripted response, is to be scripted, just like Kevin was saying, is you got to have a way that right when you talk to that person, you know exactly what you're saying each and every time. Whether it be, do you have a great offer that you want to share? Something that's going to grab them, get them interested in what it is that you're promoting. You know, make something, you know, right when you introduce yourself, have something that's 12 words or less. You know, I would give you guys what I do, but, you know, I don't really want to go out and promote myself. I just want to give you guys that free content, free value that you guys can share out to your team. So I'm not going to give you the 12 words that I use that I, when I talk to somebody about what I do, but I will tell you, tell you this, have a very scripted response, very short right off the bat. And the key is to get them to ask you a question. Don't give them everything you do right up front. Tell them something that's going to get them to say, well, well, what do you mean? Tell me more about what that is. You know, give me an example. And I'm so cut off here. Let me raise this up a little bit. <laughs> Look, you can see only half my head on this thing. I don't even notice. Um, so yeah, so you want to have a scripted response to what it is you're talking about. And just like we were talking about last week, have rebuttals. Have a way to respond to when people give you the same responses that you have a quick comeback that can overcome that objection. A way for you to isolate what it is that they're giving you. Obviously, if you haven't gone through a whole pitch, there's not a way, really way to isolate an objection because they have no value. There's no value built there, okay? And the last secret of the sale is to make sure that your value is a lot higher than your cost. That is very key, okay? When people are deciding whether or not to do business with you, they have to see that your value is far exceeding the cost that they're going to be investing in, whether it be time, excuse me, whether it be um, monetary investment, whether it be referral, whatever it be, a barter, whatever that you have, you have to give them far more in value than what it is that you're asking for in that price. And they may just be you explaining what it is that they're getting, or you explaining how you're going to be a support for them, or you're going to be explaining how you're going to be a resource of knowledge that's going to continuously build instead of just saying, here's the product, here it is. But I'm going to tell you why this product is going to revolutionize what you have. Okay. Um, and one little kind of bonus in that is find something that is going to give them more of, well, not value, but more of giving them a solution to a problem that they have. So find a need that your product or service can fill. Okay. If they are, you know, let's say you're promoting a health product, right? And you're talking about that health product with them. Figure out something that they're having a challenge with. Do you have a problem with losing weight? Do you have a problem with staying healthy? Do you have a problem with staying consistent and eating? Out? Whatever it may be, something that's going to give them a way to say, well, this is going to be a solution to that problem. That's going to, again, something that raises that value. If you have a solution to a problem they cannot fix on their own, well, right there, you've raised your, your initial value very, very high. So just to recap, let's go over those again. The secrets of the sale. First thing you're going to have is that it is a numbers game. It is always a numbers game. Talk to X amount of people, X amount of people will be interested. Okay, so figure out what that number is. Typically, it's one in five. One in five people that you talk to with the right amount of passion, the right amount of enthusiasm, and the right prospect for you is going to turn into a sale. The good salespeople, the good people that are out there that are really know how to do it well can do it in one and three. So keep in mind, one in five is where you should be at. If you pitch five people, the right types of people about your product or service, you're going to close one in five, okay? And one in three if you get really good. So work up to that one in three. Uh, another thing that you have is make sure that you are providing a unique value, you know, raise that value above that cost. Um, you want to make sure that you have a scripted response. You have a very structured way of presenting yourself. You have the passion and enthusiasm of promoting your product. So you don't want to just sit there and be like, you know, I've got this really great product and uh, you're really going to like it. I'm pretty sure you will. Um, you know, a couple other people like it too. Instead of being something like, you have to look at this product. This is so revolutionary. Ch let me show you something right here that can change you know, what it is that you're doing, you know, something that they have to see that you believe in your product or service, because if you don't believe in it, how can they possibly believe in it, right? Think about that. 
when you've gone to Best Buy or anywhere that you've had somebody promote something to you hand face to face, you know, and you purchase that product, was that person boring? Probably not. That person was very knowledgeable about their product. They were very enthusiastic that that product could be a benefit in your life and they showed you why it was. They were passionate, enthusiastic about that product or service. So keep that in mind when you're promoting your product or service. Think of it like you're on Broadway, right? Um, if you're on Broadway, if you know, if you have any kind of experience in that understanding of the industry, they do the same performance day in and day out to a live audience. Now, if they came out one night and was not as enthused about that performance, there's many people in the audience that are seeing that performance for the first time in their life. And if you go out there and you half-ass it, right, and you don't give them what it is that is top of your game, you've ruined it for them. You've ruined that experience. So you have to understand, just like you're presenting your product or service to a new prospect, okay, you have to understand this could be the first time they've ever heard of your product, your service, your industry, and you're doing a performance to that audience. You have to understand that you have to give them your best. You have to give them that 110% because that could be the, the difference maker of them saying, ah, I'll think about it, you know, give me some time, talk to me in a couple weeks about it, or them saying, I have to have this now. If I don't have this now, I'm going to miss out on a great opportunity. Get them to that fear of loss, that they're not going to be able to have this opportunity the longer they wait. Because just, you know, in scientifically speaking, 25% of what you discussed is lost within 24 hours. 50% is lost within 40 hours. A typical follow-up time is in two days. So they've already lost half of what they discussed. By making them wait, you're actually putting them at a disservice for them to get an understanding of what it is that you're offering and why it is they have to do business with you. For the power lease system, for example, you know, you're sharing with them, if you wait till two days from now to make a decision on this, you know, you may be losing out on many leads that you could have right now. Once you get set up in the power lead system, you could be live in the next five minutes. You could be promoting this on Facebook or on LinkedIn or Instagram or anywhere, uh, your email list. And you could be getting people into a sales funnel today that could bring you a new client today. That could bring you a new client in your private primary business. It could bring you new clients within the power lead system. You can have people start today and go through the entire funnel and buy $526 worth of commissionable product. There's endless, endless opportunities here. And we have the resources, the knowledge, the expertise to get it done right. We have over 20,000 people in our Facebook group and many of them, a lot of them, you go and post in the Facebook group and you say, hey guys, um, I need help driving traffic or I need help getting leads. What kind of things do you suggest? And you're going to have so many people that will respond to you tell you, have you tried this? Have you tried this? Go watch this video. Go watch this training. Go here. Go here. I mean, so many people want to be a resource of value that it's just impossible for you not to succeed if you put in that effort. You know, I've seen so many people that give it 10% of effort and wonder why they're only getting 10% results. If you put 100% in, you're going to get 100% of the results out of it. And we've made it simple. We made it clear cut, step by step instructions on what you need to do to be successful. Copy what the leaders are doing. I've generated over 10,000 leads using the Power Lead system. Just because I've taken the system of what I used to do before, which is a Weber, uh, a CM, a CRM system, I had a website built, all these different things that I was using that cost me hundreds of dollars, didn't have any great affiliate programs, hardly anything, and I've taken the power lead system, got rid of everything else, now I'm using this one system to be able to generate leads with, me making all kinds of difference. I've made hundreds of sales funnels using this platform, and all I'm doing is implementing what I've seen successful people do. Go out and do solo ads, go out and use social media, use video marketing, use mobile marketing, and take that concept and put it into a viable business model that makes it work. And just when I find something that's successful, I do it again and do it again and reach out to niche markets that I know are good prospects for me. Not just put me at are going to be maybes or possiblys and try to blanket everybody. Put yourself in front of the right types of people that are buy your product. You have to have the right target market. If you're going out there selling a, a business to business product to a bunch of consumers, well, you're going to wonder why you're only getting one out of every 100 people that would be interested instead of one out of every five, right? So 
take that concept. If you need some help, let me recap on this video. I know I gave you a lot of information to take a hold of, but this is what I do to be successful, guys. And I've been very, very successful in what I do. I don't really like to toot my own horn, but I've just the results speak for themselves. If I can do this, make you know the numbers that I make within the Power Lead system. I make it duplicatable. Go through my training and watch the videos that I put together on this, guys. I give you everything. I give you the blueprint to success. Watch it, implement it, and see the results for yourself. So that's it for the day. I know we're a little over in my normal time. I like to keep it about 10, 10 minutes or so um, just to keep you guys able to get right back into it and take some action. But uh, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about what I've learned, what you guys have learned today. And uh, let me see the results you guys are getting. So uh, I'll see you guys next week with a new topic. And always remember that you are too blessed to be stressed. Have a great day. Thanks. I believe we are created for greatness, not mediocrity. That we are to live our lives accordingly, striving to be agents of change as we attempt to leave this world a better place than we found it.